classical western philosophy early greek philosopher thales thales of miletus was a pre-socratic philosopher astronomer geographer and a mathematician he hailed from a place called miletus in ionia asia minor he was named amongst the seven great sages of greece thales is also regarded as the first philosopher or the father of philosophy the pre-socratic period marks the rise of greek philosophy this period includes some of the most significant philosophers such as thales anaximander anaximenes heraclitus pythagoras etc water as the arche according to thales water is the first principle the universe is fundamentally water in other words water is the principle of everything everything comes from water and returns back to water water is present in all the three states namely vapor liquid and solid when water is heated it assumes the form of vapor when cooled down it becomes solid and lastly when allowed to flow in its natural form it is liquid hence water exists in all the three different forms vapor liquid and solid it is for this reason water is said to be the fundamental stuff of the universe in other words water is the arche arche is the greek word which means beginning first cause or origin according to thales water is the beginning of the universe water is the first cause of the universe and water is the cause of the origin of the universe according to the biologist and philosopher aristotle thales chose water to be the ultimate principle of the universe or the ultimate stuff because of the two reasons the two reasons are number one food which nourishes us and helps us grow is always wet in nature number two all germinating seeds are wet this is what leads them to grow into trees and plants in other words these two points refer to the concept of growth development and nourishment without water none of these are possible this is mentioned in aristotle's work metaphysics according to thales water is the ultimate source of the universe and he believed earth to be a disk which floats on water thales as a scientific thinker thales was also a scientific thinker apart from being a philosopher astronomer geographer and a mathematician he gave birth to the scientific way of thinking in philosophy thales paved the path for scientific thinking in philosophy by leaving aside mythology to explain the course of world or universe to explaining phenomena and natural objects via science for example he took water to be the first cause of the universe in other words one single substance water is the ultimate principle according to herodotus thales predicted the eclipse which took place in 585 bc he also described the position of the ursa minor and believed that the constellation can be useful in navigation while at sea according to bertrand russell thales was a scientific thinker for two reasons number 1 he discovered how to calculate the distance of a ship at sea with the help of observation taken at two points. Number two, he also discovered to calculate the height of a tree or a pyramid from the length of its shadow. Russell writes about this in his work, Wisdom of the West. Thales explained the universe by a natural phenomena by using rational, scientific hypotheses. For example, he believed that Earthquake were not a result of God's supernatural winds, rather, he hypothesized that Earth floats on water and when Earth is rocked by high waves, earthquakes occur. A lot of criticism has been pointed towards Thales, scientific thinking and philosophy. Some of the criticism says that his philosophy is crude in nature and it is undeveloped or incomplete. Yet, it is important to note that he laid down the foundation of scientific worldview in philosophy. He is hence regarded a naturalist philosopher and not a theocentric philosopher. He believed in hylozoism, according to which matter has life. According to Aristotle, in his work De Anima, he writes, Thales believed that magnet is something living in nature, for it attracts things towards itself. 
he also believed that all things are full of god hence matter has life and it contains soul the two most important terms that are used while describing the philosophy of thales are naturalism and hylozoism number 1 naturalism naturalism is a philosophical view according to which there is nothing real except the natural elements laws and principles it is an idea or a belief that only natural laws and forces govern the universe adherents of this philosophical view are called naturalists as we have seen thales believed in the concept of water to be the ultimate principle of the universe hence he is regarded as a naturalist number 2 hylozoism it is a philosophical doctrine which believes that all matter has life or matter is a living being it has soul thales is believed to be a hylozoist because he believed magnet is something which has life because it attracts things towards itself 